I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from my student Melissa. If 2a plus b equals to pi by 2, prove that cos a equals to plus minus square root of 1 plus sine b divided by 2, right? Now this is a thinking question and very difficult to solve. Understand the strategy which we are going to follow. What we are given here is 2a plus b equals to pi by 2, right? We want a on one side, b on the other side, so I'm going to rearrange it. So I'll write this as 2a equals to pi by 2 minus b. Now that is a very critical step. Now we will take cosine on both sides because we need cos a, right? So now we take cosine on both sides. So if you do that, it becomes cos of 2a equals to cos of pi by 2 minus b. Now what is cos of pi by 2 minus b? So pi by 2 minus b means you are in this position, right? And that is pi by 2 minus b, that is this angle. Pi by 2 minus b is also equal to sine b, right? Cos of pi by 2 minus b is sine b. That's very important to understand, right? Now, in any right angle triangle, these are co-function identities. So this is co-function identity. Now, on the left side, we have a double angle form, right? cos of 2a. This could be written as 2 cos square a minus 1. That's a double angle formula, right? So we have applied in this particular solution so many strategies. Every step is strategic. Now let's rearrange it. So what we get here is 2 cos square a equals to, taking 1 on this side, 1 plus sine b, right? Dividing by 2, we get cos square A equals to 1 plus sine B divided by 2. And what is cos A equals to? Cos A will be square root of 1 plus sine B divided by 2. Whenever you do square root, you have to do plus and minus. So that is how you could prove it. Now this is excellent question. Go through it once again. And that formula is very easy to derive, you know. You could do it from cos A plus B, which is cos A cos B minus sine A sine B, right? Now, if I write both as theta, we get cos of 2 theta equals to cos square theta minus sine square theta. And writing sine square theta as 1 minus cos square theta, you get 2 cos square theta minus 1, which we have applied here, right? So I just derived this for some of you who may like, might have got lost at this stage. But I hope rest is all clear. So the idea is, since we want to prove cos A equals to something sine B, we took B to the right side and then took cosine on both the sides. And cos 2a, double angle formula is applied here. So that's the double angle formula. And then we just simplified for cos a to get the solution. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Go through this video once again. Feel free to share your comments. And if you like, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.